Hello friends, I hope all of you are doing good and uh, let me analyze the FII data for tomorrow and let's see how market reacts tomorrow, okay? Uh, so this is the FII data for tomorrow, okay? So if you see the clients or the retail traders are um, kind of bullish, why? Because if you see, they have bought, you know, around 91,874 calls Okay, besides they have also went long in index futures. So they have 12,954 contracts open in the index futures. Okay, on the other hand, if you see the FII data, it's, you know, heavily bearish. You know, they have sold stock futures. They have sold index futures. They have also sold index calls and they have bought index puts. Index puts bought is very insignificant, but overall they are heavily bearish for tomorrow. Okay. On the other hand, the prop traders and the prop traders have bought the stock futures uh, and index futures, but they have sold the index calls very heavily and they have bought index puts. Okay, so if you see, uh, they are also bearish. Okay, and uh, because they have sold the index calls and uh, sorry, they are bearish because they have sold the index calls very heavily 70 lakh uh, 79908 contracts so all in all what i want to share with you and dii as usual is neutral if you uh, add all of those figures together uh, they are net net bearish okay so if you if the most interesting thing in this data is uh, this part okay uh, which most of us ignore okay uh, which is like the net position okay if you see the net position okay so this is the net position today net position one day ago and net position two days ago okay and uh, uh, the first row is for index futures and the last row is for the stock futures okay which is very much significant for us so if we go by this data what we observe here is and uh, uh, this row is for the index calls and this row is for the index puts Okay, so if we go by this data, <clears throat> what we see here is, uh, if you talk about the clients, okay, the first row here is for the retail traders. One day ago, they were bearish. They had 7,120 quantity short in the index uh, futures, uh, but today they went bullish. Okay, the second in the row is the DIIs. So if you see the DIIs um, kind of, are bullish they had 22,540 contracts uh, yesterday and today they have booked some of their long contracts but net net they are bullish okay but if you see the FII data which is very interesting here is if you see they had 17,528 contracts short on index which was day before yesterday uh, that is on Thursday on Friday they had 28,474 shots and Today it's 45,470 uh, shots. So they are aggressively short on the index futures. On the other hand, the prop traders, they are bullish. Okay, so if you see a uh, net net in the index position, the FIIs are heavily bearish, but the uh, DIIs, the pros and the clients are uh, bullish. Okay. Now coming to the uh, stock futures. Okay, if you see the stock futures, the clients are net net you know bullish they have 293,313 contracts uh, on the long side okay on the other hand the DIIs are heavily bearish but they are reducing their short position so if you see one day ago they had 8,14,000 contracts open but right now as on today they have 8,9,421 contracts open okay so they have uh, are heavily short but they have reduced their shorts Okay, on the other hand, uh, the FIIs have started covering their long. So they had 4,22,982 contracts on the long side as on today, but they have covered around 24,000 uh, contracts, which you can see from here. Okay, so if you see here uh, in the stock futures, they have sold 23,343 contracts. So overall, FIIs are bullish in the stock futures, but are heavily bearish in the index futures. Okay, and the prop traders, if you see, they are continuously buying stock futures. So if you see from 66,793, they have increased to 73,646. And as on today, it is 93,126. Okay, guys, now coming to the conclusion. Okay, 
So if you see uh, more or less, if you see uh, the FIs have 4,22,982 contracts on the long side in the stock futures, but they have 45,470 contracts, you know, um, short in the index futures. So they will lose some money in the index futures for sure. Okay, if there is a gap up opening, which is, seems to be the case, they will lose some money in the index uh, futures. But if you see, they have 4,22,982 contracts in the stock futures. So, that net net FIIs ko bada nuksaan nahi hoga. So, who is going to bear the pain, guys? The people who are going to bear the maximum pain is, you know, is the DIIs. If you see, the DIIs are heavily short in the stock futures position. So, there could be some stocks which, you know, can, you know, show very sharp recovery for the names like the Bajaj Finance whose results are uh, tomorrow, Maruti, Reliance, HUL. So these are the positions where these uh, people are or DIIs may get trapped tomorrow. So what will happen? So tomorrow the only problem we, we what I foresee is this positions held by the retail clients. So if you see they are holding 91,874 number of calls. Okay. So what will have happen is after the gap up opening, these retail traders do not have that much patience. So what will they do? They will start liquidating of their call positions at any price. This will give the you know liberty to the uh, FIS to exit their shorts. Okay. So they will exit their shorts. So after a gap up opening, there will be a small dip. Okay. A small dip or a big dip depends upon how the FIS are covering their position. So after this dip, they, the, probably the FIIs would cover their shorts and the DIIs will also think of covering their shorts. So after a gap up opening, there will be a small dip, okay, of maybe 50 points in Nifty and 150, 200 points in Bank Nifty. And post that, we can see again recovery in the markets. But one more thing which needs to be factored tomorrow is the how the Dow is reacting. guys. So keep an eye on Dow, keep an eye on this opening. Okay, so after the gap up opening, don't go gaga and try to buy at the market price. Wait for a dip, which is very much sure to come. And once the dip comes, then you can, you know, based on the support levels and resistance levels, you can make an entry into the uh, futures or for that matter, options, whichever you are comfortable with. Okay, so my position for tomorrow is very, you know, very good for a gap up opening. So if all goes well, I have a McDouble very huge positions in McDouble and some positions, hedged positions in the index calls and futures. So let's hope for a good start tomorrow. And if if it opens 800 to 1000 points in Bank Nifty and McDowell, you know, moves 5 to 6%, uh, I will be working more than 1 lakh uh, tomorrow. So that, that that's the position I'm holding right now. And uh, today also was a very decent day, managed to get around 1.3 lakh uh, 1.03 lakhs from uh, commodity and stocks. So uh, the bottom line is, yes, tomorrow will be exciting day. And uh, let's see how things, you know, go. And uh, uh, if Dow continues to remain in the green territory tomorrow, then there could be a sharp, sharp recovery in the global markets and also in the Indian markets. Because we, if you compare us from the global markets, we are already trading at 7% discount. What it means is, though Dow was going up, Nifty was correcting. Okay, Nifty showed some correction, and uh, that correction will be, you know, covered off, and we may see good recovery in the Indian markets because we are heavily oversold, and uh, this this rally may likely to sustain uh, if if the news of the vaccine and as I said, the Dow futures continues to remain in the positive territories. What are the things which you should keep an eye on is uh, the Cases, the corona cases in India are rising very sharply. Uh, we breached the 1 lakh mark today. And the rising tension between China and USA is the other important things where we have to keep an eye on. But considering the current global macro situations, I don't think so China is in a position to, you know, react or for that matter to, you know, bully America. And uh, let's hope things settle down well and... Take care of yourself and your loved ones. So with that, I would like to conclude this video. Uh, do let me know if you have any queries. I will try to address them. Not immediately, of course, but as and when I get time. Thank you so much for your time.